For the Spotlight Radio Show, let me get my little camera going. Everybody, oh we, I don't even know where to begin. This this mixtape, yeah, I love it. Thank you. How so long much. did it take you to complete it? Real, um, probably like a month. A month, just a month. Because yeah, I was actually working on Shit. drinks and not training the scripts. Okay. And um, I got with her health, and he was like, "Yo, fresh, need to drop something for the streets while you mix your album." I'm like, "All right, cool." So like, okay. I like a month. I did okay. that like a month. Lovely. Just put a few songs that I was going to use for this other project. Get the rest was just all new. Okay. Well, I know we're going to debut Forever. That's like, I listened to the whole mixtape like back. But when I heard Forever, I had already like took my little selfie Instagram and posted it because that right. was like my jam. Oh, you know, That's I'm my jam. Cause I finally got a song that girls, the females like can, mm-hmm. you know, they like because most of them listen to my music and think right. I'm just this dog animal dude. <laughs> I'm just crazy, you know, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, the last one, I mean, the one with the drink, you know, they liked it because they could smoke to it. You, you, yeah. You're coming around to some quality chicks. Right, right, right. right. I mean, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to just, you know, all right. <laughs> well, I know my little sweetie, you know, last night and when I was like, ah, we gonna debut forever, he was like, you know, he like it because of the hook. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He be jamming it, jamming it, jamming it. He, he be jamming it more than I be jamming it. I'm, I'm a big jealousy fan. Like, I grew up to my mama playing that in the crib, so okay. when I got the actual track, it was just, it was automatic for me. Okay. Well, so I could be your mama. Huh? I grew well, up on Jodeci. Okay. I'm gonna oh. be your mama now. Well, so Ain't good. that some shit? I, I, Wait, you threw the little nigga for a second. I'm just saying though. He said his mama was jamming Jodeci. I was jamming Jodeci. I was jamming Jodeci. I don't know if it was you know. mama, sugar mama. Okay. Mama. Yeah. All of that. All of those mamas. You gotta clarify. I'm those mamas. I'm just not the mama that puts you out. <laughs> Man, it is so exciting that you're here. Thank you. Man, um, so what do you do when it's not music? Do you like have chill time? Like what? I are, do. I do. I, I'm I'm really a homebody. I like to chill at the crib. Okay. So if I ain't if I ain't in the studio, I'm chilling in the crib until it's time to go to the studio. Okay. I might you know I might do some going to the movies or something like that. I play okay. some basketball. Other than that, I'm, I try to chill as much as I can because I work every night. Already? Okay. How many cell phones do you have? Uh, I have reduced it down to two now. Okay. I used to have six. Really? Yeah, I had a problem. Communication problems. Wow. So down the two. Down is two, two working? Oh yeah, they work. You can manage two. Yeah, I can have it. Do you have any pets? I hate pets. You do? Yeah, because I had the iguana, but he committed suicide. So How? After that, <laughs> after that, I'm done. How did he commit an uh, iguana? Oh, yeah. How did he commit suicide? He he was weird. He used to like bang his head on the on the on the on the aquarium thing. <laughs> I just, I, like, I yeah. One day I came home, he was just slumped. Was okay. Just, so I, I ain't do it. Just okay. Like, right. Poor iguana. Yeah, rest in peace, Larry. He, His he name my, is Larry. Yeah, <laughs> he was my nigga. Man. Did y'all hear you say? Uh, he was his what? Ligger. Ligger. Not nigga. but it's Ligger. Yeah, he's from the Lizard family. You know, yeah. My right. Ligger, my Ligger. He had two page and everything. He had hoes following him. Ah. He was on. See that? So are you going to get another one? Nigga. I'm done. You done? That's it. Ah, no. I tried. Goodness. What about a fish? That's not fun. What am I going to do with a fish? A fish? I travel so much, I probably want, like, that. Okay. my fish would be malnutritious. Okay. You know what, what, about, what about a, a snake? Are you scared of snakes? Will you pick up a snake? I don't like nothing about a snake. Okay. I don't like snake people, snake animals. <laughs> I don't even like snake skin. <laughs> <laughs> me either. Like, you can throw a fake snake at me. I'm taking out running. I'm straight on that. Okay. What about a uh, tarantula? See, now you just getting extra. Okay, well, I'm just, I'm, I'm just want, saying. Like, I don't want no pets. No, nothing. 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 Do with a pet. You just have that thing. I'm speaking for the other people, not no, me. I don't want no pets. Okay, no pets. no pets. No pets. Y'all hear that, sister? Oh, yeah, another thing. My sister wanted me to ask you. <clears throat> uh, do you have a significant other? Do I have a significant other? I mean, you know. A significant other. One that you just bang, 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 and you know. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You gotta have a bang bang. A bang bang. Okay. Just, where did that become a definition? She, she made it. I didn't, yeah. I didn't say it. Just a, other than somebody that she, you just bang bang bang. The, that one, you know, you gotta have that significant one that you will. Well, That's I mean, I do. Significant bang. That ain't a okay, well, significant the signif- significant bang. Yeah. You have a significant Definitely bang. Definitely got the bang. Okay. You got the significant bang. Bang bang. Yeah. Bang. What'd you say, fire? Bang. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm already. I got a female record now. I'm talking about just banging. So already. I mean, you can yeah. right back where and I started. I mean, no, no, no. And it's good. I like, I like that old and new. I like it all. I do. If I lose followers to Mars, no. Oh, <laughs> no. Believe me. Ooh, don't even get no me started. Hate mail, none of that. Uh-uh, no hate mail. <laughs> so, is it true that you do not curse at all? Or is it just I not? when I talk, but when I rap, no, I don't curse. No curse. Did you choose not to, or is it? Yes, I did. Because when I first like tried to rap, I think, mm-hmm. well, I don't know, it might have been subconsciously, but when I first started trying to rap when I was younger, my mama found my, um, my round bush, <laughs> and like, she one of the people that try to like embarrass you. She uh-huh. made me read my rhymes to her right then. And she's like, what, what is this? Okay. I'm like, man, it was just some little rhymes I write. Read it. Yeah. I said, man, I'm not finna read it right now. I'm gonna whoop your ass. I'm like, oh, shit. okay. Read and the shit. first four bars was every curse word you could uh-huh. think of. And after that, she was like, she didn't want me to rap. Okay. You know, once I really got into it, I was like, there's really no need. Like, I don't have to. I'm right. kind of dope without it. And she started liking it. She used to play my music for people mm-hmm. at the church. They were okay. into it at the time. So I'm like, I definitely can't be cursing if she's going to be okay. playing for, you know, pastors and deacons and stuff like right. that. Right. Lovely. I was, you know, I was wondering, like, why is that? Or, I mean, because you like, if I mean, your pictures or whatever you look like, you finna just, <laughs> just, I'm talking go fed on them. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. it just, it, I mean, it, it really, it doesn't come out. Like, I don't even think about it when, okay. I'm, when I'm rapping. So that's, that's good. That's I applaud saying. you. Attention to the ones that are out there listening. It sounds so good when it's not a whole bunch of cussing in your raps. You don't need to do it. But when I talk, though, I, okay. I curse. I curse like a sailor. Go ahead. I curse real bad. Kind of bad like mind. what? Okay, let's let's do a little role play. Like if you had to curse somebody out, like how would you curse them? Yeah, like this. I hit. just call them bitches. Like if I, I'm <laughs> you a bitch. That's it. Okay. Because it's just so much power behind it. If I, if okay. I make a point where I got to curse you out. Yes. I'm pretty much in the point where we can fight about it. You know what I'm saying? So you the most be. disrespectful thing you can say to somebody. Is it is. No, I'm from New Orleans. We will call you. Some y'all, friend. y'all do that. You y'all. old funky face ass bitch. See you that? old See? donkey call <laughs> looking hoe. You old uh, uh, churches cross mouth eating. I mean. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's all about the edges. You just going in. I don't need all the edges, I'm bitch. But that's like, the kind I'm of just, stuff that's that. All I, that's all I'm getting right there. Is bitch. Well, that's good. My thing is, mother. I'm going in. Mother. If you give me that man. You ain't never seen that man, so. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to. Don't get caught. At the meat meal. Uh, you was, you oh. missed it. Oh, I heard. Oh. Yeah. I got it in my phone, too, but I still got it in my phone. That thing went viral. Yeah, yeah. I, I never seen it. It's, you know, I got it in my phone. I got yeah. it recorded from when you had <laughs> left, left, left. God has delivered you from that situation. So no, he didn't. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, he did. You know what? I got more stuff out of it. You know what I'm saying? I think people seeing the error of their ways. Yeah. And they re- mess with the wrong person that helped everybody. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was happy to see you, though. You was I like, there, you lost some weight. I don't know what you're doing. Maybe I, I stopped drinking so much. I started really? sipping so much. I had to chill. What what draws you to sipping? Let me, let's just say, mm-hmm. how old you were when, when you started first, sipping? When I first started sipping, I was 14. i never forget because my brother drank so much. I was just intrigued by why you always drinking this, you know what I'm saying? My brother was always my biggest influence, so mm-hmm. everything he did, I kind of tried to emulate it or you know, mm-hmm. do whatever. And he one time he fell asleep on his cup. And I, I said to myself, I said, if he ever fall asleep on that cup, I'm gonna drink the shit out of it. And okay. he fell asleep and I drank it. And from that moment, I knew that was my drug of choice. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Nyquil knocks me out. On the real. <laughs> so what does it how does it make you feel? Like a it's tutorial. Gone. I'm real hyper. I'm just it just makes me relax. It's one of those things that, you know, that's that's what I'm be I'll be in my zone when I'm when I'm in, I'm chilling. I never could understand, like I was real cool friends, good friends with Hawk and Big Mo. Mm-hmm. I don't know why, and it says something because it, it deals with sleeping, that the neck becomes bigger, mm-hmm. and that's one of the, the things, um, the side effects, mm-hmm. and how you die from drinking, mm-hmm. because it's something about your airwaves that become inflated. And you ever seen them? They be Crazy having these thing about it though, like, honestly, I don't really know who has died from just drinking itself. Like, you got to think about Big Mo and, like, 
Big Mo probably had a lot of other health issues because he was a heavy set guy. You feel me? But I mean, I'm not saying drink helped him, but it didn't wash his heart. Well, you don't think it was his diet or his <coughs> lack of exercise? Was, I'm thinking that it, everything played a part. So that's what I'm saying. You can't just put it on the drink. Like I don't like when people just relate serve to death. You know what right. I'm saying? Too okay. much anything to kill you. Yeah, but don't just put syrup on somebody. Too. So what about putting meth on bad teeth? I mean, that's a fact. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never smoked meth a day in my life, but all the meth is I know, you know what I'm saying, look like they've been chewing rocks. So, you don't think? But every drink sipper you know isn't dead. No. Hey. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, been drinking for years. Well, you okay. here too? Oh, yeah. Okay. I see a lot of living simples in here. I um, <laughs> I got a confession. Spotlight Radio <laughs> Show. <laughs> Tessa <laughs> Ellen. Right. I, back in the days, uh, I'm going to go back to about, I'm going to say, let me get try to get it on the money, about 2002, 2003. Mm-hmm. My <clears throat> sister line go kill me. But she was sipping it, you know. So I was, she was just like, you know, I'm always hyper. So she was like, get it chill, you know. So I. You know, I tried some. It was pretty nice. Mm-hmm. But it had me like, you know, I would go to sleep, but it had me like a, uh, it gave me a, like a, what an XO does to a person, make them that hot feeling. Like, it had me like a horny feeling. It made you horny? Yeah, it made me like relax. Like, I mean, it was the best sexual moment it was. Yeah, it was. That was I the thing. The yeah, I mean, like, for real. Like, it did me like that. I think I'm I used to like anyway, so I can't really say that, sir. But wait, it did. Wait, wait the fuck a minute. Hold on. <laughs> if sex is, is supposed to be, you, you rile up at it. Yeah. And if serve slows down everything. So you mean to tell me your nuniquat was slowed down? Everything was slowed. That was the best holding and kissing and tonguing. And That's not sex. I mean, but, you know, get down on it. Yeah, I was, I mean, because, like, when I ride it, my thighs and stuff wouldn't hurt. You know, my legs wouldn't hurt. And, you know, I wouldn't get that. Yeah, everything was. Don't add on to this. You know, so. I don't know nothing about that. I didn't ride nothing. But what made me stop, what had made me stop, one of my friends, you know, he was drank that and coming around that curve. He's scared, scared, scared. Went into the ditch. Scared the life out of me, but, yeah. Yeah, I've seen people nod off on me. But yeah, so all the sippers out there, when you sip, just sip a little bit. Sip, do it, and go to sleep. Slip, do it, and yeah, go slip, to sleep. do it, and go to sleep. Yeah. So did you accomplish your goals in 2013? Um, I, I have everlasting goals. My goals are never complete. Like, I always set new ones. When I get close to the, the one I set, mm-hmm. I push it back further. You know, I just try to stretch, I just try to stretch okay. it out, you know, push down a little bit, right. you know raise the ball every time. So, okay. I mean, for the most part, everything that I've done in my career, mm-hmm. I've always hit the milestone of what I've been trying to do, you know what I mean? The fact right. that I've always been an independent artist, you know what I'm saying? I've been trying to do like a lot of things with the majors, but a lot mm-hmm. of a lot of, lot of um, deals and offers they come in with really don't fit what I see my future for, you know what okay. I'm saying? So, I still make I still make it to where I'm trying to go, right. you know what I mean? And like you say, the goals I'm trying to achieve, I still reach them, but it's like I always push them further, you know what I'm saying? Okay, right. Good deal. So, can we go back down memory lane right fast? Mm-hmm. Yes. Let's start out. How did it feel to be one of the youngest writers for, you know, Platinum Stars? I know you was writing for Bow Wow. Mm-hmm. So, t- tell me how did that progress on? And some of the people that you've worked with, wrote songs <coughs> and, and did for? I mean... Because you're a, young. You're super a, young. Know, but as a fan of the game, it's like... Uh, it's, it's Sometimes it's like, you know, it's very exciting, but to me it's work, you know what I'm saying? It's what I know I'm good at and what I do, so I just look at it as like another day at the office because I'm working on some major projects right now. I don't really like to talk about who I'm working with because I don't know how they feel about it, you know, what they're putting out or whatever, but at the same time, it's like, it's, it, I'm very appreciative of it, but it's, it's another day at the office to me, you know what I'm saying? I think when I'm finished and I just chill and I sit back and look at it, I'll probably celebrate it more than I can right now because I always want to do more, you know what I mean? Right. I, I know what you're saying because I charted Billboard twice. Mm-hmm. I had I write for men and I have to sign a waiver that I can't. Some men don't like to say when a woman writes for them. Mm-hmm. So I can't really share in the full joy. I can listen to the song and know I was a you know one of the writers yeah. on it, but I really don't get to fully enjoy it. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I I, I enjoy it. You know what I mean? But I just know that. I still have a ways to go, even though I've done a lot. Mm-hmm. I still haven't done everything that I want to do. You know right. what I mean? So, right. I, I, I kind of celebrate in silence. You know what I mean? Well, a lot of people know that you're 
you are just a talent. And uh, I don't care if you celebrate in science. Like, <laughs> I love supporting you because Thank I think that you're very gifted. You. Your mind is very eclectic. And I, I love the fact that you're so down to earth and so humble. And uh, I'm glad that you came in. Thank yes. you so much. I can me, already. I I can say what made I've been knowing of you. What made me like just follow you from I'm talking about step to step, try to like go to sleep and dream about you <laughs> on the stage going at it was when I first heard Rolling with a G with Lil Kiki. What? That when I'm talking about because I just thought you was this having these tarantulas on your back type of dude. <laughs> it was something about you. I was like, I don't know about him, but like when I heard, I don't know, it was something about your lyrics. Uh, it was just how you just put it out there. Mm -hmm. And from right then and on, I was every song I was in tune. You had wow. me, you caught my attention. That's dope. For real, That's I was funny. that rolling with a G, and I was playing rolling with a G ever since. Every time I got on air, I was rolling with a G. Sure. So. That's dope. But yeah, I applaud you, and I am very, very proud of your journey. I want to know, do you have anything planned for 2014 that you can share that we don't know? Um, well, I'm actually putting out the album this year. Um, it's called Drinks and Not Training Scripts. It's produced by Cardinal Sledge and Wiz Khalifa Producers. Uh, okay. Um, All right. They reached out to me and said, first it started with just doing the songs, and they were like, you should do a whole project. And I was over at Wiz Script, and he, um, got a chance to listen to it and he was like, oh, this, this is actually dope, y'all really should like, make some of it. Okay. And I was like, all right, cool, it started as just a mixtape, but since it's all original, we like, you might as well just go and put it out for sale. And, you know, just the fans, they really support me, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Whether it's right. a mixtape, somebody else's project feature, like people really get behind the stuff I do, I really right. have a following that, that's loyal to yes, my music, so I'm, I said, I'm going to do it. Okay. Good deal. So what's your motto? You have a motto? Do I have a Wor motto? Yeah, your motto or words you live by? Some of your mama, um, your granny told you. I, they, I don't know. They man. just, I just, I just live and enjoy. It. Already, I just try to enjoy it. every moment. I'm just really happy to be here. Already, you know, my, my favorite rapper, Jaden, because he used to always say that I'm happy to be here. That's really how I feel. Already, okay. Coming out of H Town, what part of H Town are you from? Sunnyside. Sunnyside. Yeah. Is there like a little sign you do? What's I'm, the What's the symbol? I'm from how you do? Island, so just just the four. Just Throw the four up. up. All right. My nigga, Short Dog is in the <laughs> building. Like I said, I will be at the Boss Status movie premiere tonight. <laughs> Call me fresh. If I don't speak, you know why. <laughs> For real. Any my name is speak. Hmm? Yeah. Any movies? Any movies. I did a short film, no pun intended, uh, called Byron that was in the film festival or whatever, but I haven't, I haven't been on the set or anything else. So, not right now, but okay. soon. And yeah. I live in L.A., so soon. Somebody's gonna see me walking down the street and be like, yo, we need him to play. Right. You know what I'm saying? Master P or something. Right. You know what I mean? Do you think there's more opportunities in LA than Houston? I just feel like, you know, for what I try to what I'm doing, it's it's good for me to travel. You know what I mean? Like, I mean it's a lot of opportunities for everything in Houston, but I just like to travel and, you know what I'm saying, see mm -hmm. different see different areas, different cultures and you know what I'm saying, things like that. So right. I feel like that's better for what I'm trying to do. But I mean there's a lot of opportunity in Houston, it just depends on what you want out of. Well, let me tell you something. We got some guys that drove down from Oklahoma is in the building. Okay, okay. Uh, ready? You know what I'm saying? We have Lil Star that's going to be coming on. So I want, when we play your song, you're going to introduce your song. But I sure. definitely want you to, you know, do some camaraderie because I'm more than sure. I heard a lot of great things about uh, these guys that came down. They're going to be opening up for Young Jeezy. For sure. And, you know, I'm hosting that joint with no uh, interruptions. I can dig it. This time. So. <laughs> <laughs> So I would definitely want you to, you know, take some pictures sure. and get in because I'm more than sure they oh, would like, sure, I think sure. he on that drink, he had a smile over. But um, <laughs> get some features in because I really do feel like there's a lot of talent mm -hmm. to be circulating. Mm -hmm. And if people would just put down their egos, we'll get a lot further. Man, one thing people got to learn is that it's enough money in this world for everybody because for what money ain't real, it's just paper. You right. know what I mean? They make it, they make it every day. So. It's enough for everybody, you know, you ain't got to worry about somebody taking food off your plate. You'll get more about working working with people than working against them. Already. And you got more about just showing up. Because <laughs> if you didn't show up, boy, I was going to... I can't believe short dog is... Yeah. Now nah, I was going to come. I didn't know they said it was a phone or so I was like, all right, cool. That's all what I right. prepared for then when I got your text. You see, yeah. I ain't had that one. What time? I mean, <laughs> Bye, nigga. And you know what's crazy? I can't even drive. I had to get. I had to get somebody to bring me because my license is suspended. Oh, you serious? I can't even drive. I can't drive till July. Oh, you serious? I haven't July. drove a car since I was on the West Coast. I can't drive in Texas. You would never see me driving in Texas wow. again. 
So what accumulated? What? The, the you know the tickets? Nah, not just I got I got um, pulled over for driving while my license was suspended. So probably it was a ticket, but by me not never I never paid a ticket before right. in my life because I don't believe in giving the police no money. Right. So okay. I just I think that along with me driving without the license made them say you know what. Down and it's better than me because my my license is suspended <laughs> and my motherfucking whip is out there. My bitch is out there. And I, I, I ain't call my motherfucking for no ride. I ain't gonna do it. I, I just can't stand going. I can't stand going to jail. Alright, I don't like no altercations either. No, I, you know once I'm, I'm waiting because I'm getting somebody trained to do this producing of the show. You know I own up the radio station. Yeah. I got to produce the shows. I'm gonna train somebody, then I'm gonna go turn myself in. <laughs> I'm going, and I'm going to drink that oak form punch. I'm going to eat them uh, goddamn oranges, them oatmeal pies, and still less oatmeal pies. <laughs> the lunch of me sandwich, and I'm going. I'm gonna braid my hair, up, look like Queen Latifah, <laughs> pull me a couple of bitches in that hole, and. Uh, when I come out, I'm gonna have like some extracurricular activities for them to do, and uh, you know, establish their life. <laughs> Make sure you do one too, you know. Tonight. No problem, because I what positively improve mental persuasion. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Kiyosi, I'm the philosophy. When it's up in the club, all lies on me. Wow. Yeah. I should get that on like a license plate or a bumper sticker or something. What's that? What she just said. <laughs> Make that on the bumper sticker. I already. Something all ass. I'm gonna take you to one of them New Orleans bats house. You ever went to that? Uh uh, they don't even sound like somewhere. I don't yes, even <laughs> A yes, bat? A bath house. A bath house. I take showers, I don't really take baths. That's what you won't take a shower and, and you won't take a bath in that bitch either. <laughs> a bath house. <laughs> Introduce yourself. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the um new joint out called me fresh, the title forever. It's the ladies' favorite. From what I hear. So yes. I enjoy this. Play it for your mama too. She might like it. She might like it. She'll always do that. Already. <laughs> right here on Spotlight Radio Show. Street Night 3.3. Short dog. Yeah. Good job. Good job.